Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days within which to revise and extend their remarks and include any extraneous material on the bill under consideration. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. As a member of the Committee on Homeland Security's Transportation Security Subcommittee, I am proud to be a co-sponsor of this common sense piece of legislation that will increase accessibility and privacy for our wounded warriors at airport checkpoints. This legislation directs TSA to develop and implement a process to facilitate the ease of travel and to the extent possible provide expedited screening through our nation's airports for severely injured or disabled members of the armed forces and veterans. The last thing our heroes need is to face unnecessary scrutiny and or hassle or be forced to answer endless questions about their conditions when all they want to do is board a plane to fly home to their loved ones or maybe to a job interview. This bill would ensure that our wounded warriors, those dedicated men and women who have been severely injured while fighting to protect our nation, are treated with the highest dignity and respect when traveling through our nation's airports. I was pleased to find out that shortly after Administrator Pistol testified before the Transportation Security Subcommittee on TSA's efforts to advance risk-based security, TSA began to offer expedited screening services to severely injured members of the armed forces and veterans, provided they contact the TSA in advance of traveling. While I support TSA's newly adopted protocols, I feel this bill is necessary because it codifies current TSA policy and endures that it ensures that it will remain intact during future administrations. Mr. Speaker, this bill not only benefits severely injured and disabled members of the United States Armed Forces, veterans and their accompanying families, but it also supports the TSA Administrator's intent to develop a more risk-based method of screening for all passengers. Expediting travel for our military heroes is an important step toward reasonable transportation security reforms that allow us to focus precious taxpayer dollars on the unknown travelers and the real threats. As we look forward to this upcoming Memorial Day, let us honor the all too often painful sacrifices our wounded warriors have made for our nation by adopting this important and common sense piece of legislation. I urge my colleagues to support the bill and I reserve the balance of my time.